Hi everyone, today we will be reading a book called Tigers. The Devil in the Forest At the edge of a dense mangrove swamp, Three nervous men are cutting firewood. One of the men stands watch, staring intently into the sun-dappled forest. The other two men gather bundles of wood. They will use the wood that night to cook rice and lentils for their supper. Just a few dozen meters away, hidden in the shadows, a 100 Fifty kilogram female Bengal tiger watches them through large honey colored eyes. She is hungry too, but the, but the tigress does not dream of rice and lentils. She dreams of meat. This is the Sunderbans, ten thousand square kilometers of mangrove swam and thick forest on the border of India and Bangladesh. It is one of the last great tiger habitats. Humans are not a favorite food of tigers. The tigers watching the woodcutters will prefer to catch a chital or a wild pig. Humans are unpredictable and dangerous. They make strange noises and they carry weapons. The tigers will not attack unless one of the men wanders. Off into the forest alone, but these three men stay close together. They know that a tiger might be lurking nearby. After a time, the tigress moves off to seek easier prey. Several miles away, a man with a powerful rifle sits in the branches of a tree. He is looking down on a game trail, waiting patiently. There are few tigers left in this area. He might wait for days, but he only needs to kill one tiger just to support his family for a year. In the Sunderbans, people are sometimes killed and eaten by tigers. At the same time, poachers kill tigers to sell their skin meat bones on the black market. The tiger is a terrifying powerful beast. But every year, the human population increases while tigers become harder to find. 3,000 kilometers away in the forests of eastern Siberia, a pale orange tiger bounds through the snow in pursuit of a young elk. The large male Siberian tigers nearly double the size of the Bengal tigers in the Sunderbans, and just as hungry. The elk will feed him for several days. On the island of Sumatra in Ganang Lyuser National Park, a small tigress and her two cubs move silently through the tall grass. The 7,927 square kilometer park is home to many endangered species, including some trim rhinoceroses, orangutans, clouded leopards, and about 100 semitrim tigers. The sound of a gunshot brings the mother tiger to a halt. Hunting is forbidden in the park, but it still goes on. Every year, more tigers are killed by poachers. The tigress turns and moves quickly away from the sound of the gunshot. Her two young cubs follow. In the heart of China, where tigers are once common, a male South China tiger searches in vain for a female partner. Only a handful of South China tigers survive in the wild, scattered in isolated pockets of wilderness. This male tiger might survive for a few more years, but he may never find a female of his kind. The South China tiger is all but extinct in the wild. 
At the beginning of the 20th century, Asia was home to more than 100,000 tigers. Tigers range from the shores of the Caspian Sea to the tropical island of Bali, and from the snowy forests of Siberia to the south southern tip of India. By the mid 20th century, their numbers had been reduced by half. The last tiger on Bali was killed in the 1940s. The tigers of Tur Turkmenistan and other countries near the Caspian Sea have been gone since the 1970s. The Javan tiger has not been seen since the 1980s. Years of habitat destruction and rent. Relentless hunting have reduced the total number of wild tigers to about four thousand. Today, there are more tigers living in cages than there are living in the wild. Tiger profile: The Sundarbans is home to the most dangerous tigers on earth. In most places where tigers live, attacks on people are rare. Tigers are quick learners. They know that humans can be dangerous prey. But in the vast mangrove swamps of the Sundarbans Tiger Reserve, tigers kill and eat people every year. Some years, more than 100 people have been killed by tigers. Why are tigers of the Sundarbans so aggressive? Some say it is because the water is salty, making the tigers irritable. Others say that the behavior is learned. Mother tigers teach their cubs that humans make good food. The most likely explanation is that in the Sundarbans, men often go into the dense mangrove forests in small groups to gather firewood, collect honey, or fish in the narrow waterways. They tend the hungry tiger. In recent years, forest officers from both India and Bangladesh have worked to keep people out of the. Sundarbans Tiger Reserve. They have built electric fences to keep tigers away from nearby villages. They have also placed electrified human dummies in the forest. Tigers that attack the dummies get the shock of their lives. The number of attacks in the Sundarbans has dropped. To only a few per year, the people who live in the region are learning to live with the tiger. Perhaps the tigers are lear learning too. The eye of the tiger. Next time you watch your pet cat sleeping or stretching or cleaning its up or stalking a bird, imagine it fifty times heavier. Picture it with claws twelve centimeters long and teeth longer than your thumb. Imagine it with stripes. Then, then imagine it looking at you as though you were a mouse. The tiger is a member of the cat family. Tigers are related to lions, cougars, leopards, lynxes, and domestic cats. There are thirty-seven species of wild cat. From the tiny rusty spotted cat to the elusive cloud leopard to the majestic African lion, the tiger is the largest cat species. Like all cats, tiger tigers are meat eaters or carnivores. They eat other animals to survive. Dogs, bears, weasels, and mongooses are other examples of carnivores. The bodies. Is perfectly built for hunting large game. All of the creatures on Earth, only human being is more deadly. Human beings have intelligence and metal weapons. The tiger's tools include sharp eyes and ears, a flexible body, powerful muscles, quick reflections, enormous teeth, and retractable claws.
claws and jaws. Retractable claws are unique to the cat family. A cat extends its razor sharp claws when it needs them. At other times, they remain sheathed. This keeps the claws sharp and ready. Claws have several uses. They grasp prey as the tiger delivers its killing bite. They are useful for for climbing. Adult tigers do not often climb trees, but they can if they want to. Claws are also used for defense against other tigers, for gripping the ground when running and leaping, and for scratching an itch. Tigers have the largest canin teeth of any cat, up to eight centimeters long. A single crushing bite can sever work like can sever the spinal cord of a deer. Their upper and lower teeth work like scissors, shearing through flesh and bone. Their smaller front teeth are useful for stripping away skin and tearing meat from bones. Their rough tongues are used for cleaning the last bits of flesh from the bones of their prey. Senses. There is a saying in Tiger Country: "The tiger will always see you first." The bright yellow eye of the tiger can detect the slightest movement in bright sunlight or darkest night. Tigers, lions, and other big cats have round pupils, even in bright light. Small cats, such as domestic cats, ocelots, and bobcats, have vertical slit-shaped pupils. A tiger's hearing is its most acute sense. It can tell the difference between the sound of leaves rustling in the wind and a scurrying mouse or a deer making a sudden movement in the brush. In the forest, when it is often impossible to see more than a few feet, hearing it from hearing is is extremely important. Tigers also have a keen sense of smell. They have openings in the roofs of their mouths that lead to the Jacobson's organ. This organ helps the tiger identify interesting or unusual odors. Whiskers are long, stiff, highly sensitive hairs that help the tiger feel its way through through dense brush. All cats have whiskers. Tiger whiskers. Grow on their cheeks, muscle, eyebrows, and even the backs of their front legs. Coat and tail. The striped coat of the tiger is its most striking feature. When you see a tiger in a zoo, the the black striped, rusty orange coat stands out. How could such a brightly colored animal sneak up on wild prey? A tiger stripes help it blend. Into its natural surroundings, a tiger in the wild can be almost invisible. Like most wild cats, the tiger has a long, flexible tail. Tiger tails measure more than one meter long. Tails help tigers balance when running or climbing. They are also used to communicate with other tigers. A slowly swishing tail held high as a friendly greeting, while a low twitching tail shows anger. The next time you meet a tiger, remember that. Making a living. What does a 250 kilogram tiger eat for dinner? Whatever it can catch. To survive, to survive, a tiger needs forty to seventy kilograms of meat a week. You might think that with those claws and teeth and powerful muscles, it would be easy for a tiger to catch its dinner. But in the wild, it is not so easy. Nearly all of a tiger's life is spent spent searching for food. When hunting, the tiger must dog. To within fifteen to twenty meters of its prey before exploding into action, 
But wild pigs and deer, the tiger's favorite food, are fast and alert. They will bolt at the slightest sound. A tiger might take dozens of failed attempts before it finally catches something. Tigers kill by delivering a single bite to the neck. Their powerful jaws and sharp cannon teeth. Slice the rope bone and muscle to cut the spinal cord. If an animal is too large to kill with a bite to the back of the neck, the tiger will crush its throat and hold on until the animal suffocates. A successful hunt means that the tiger will eat well for the next two or three days. The tiger will remain near its kill, eating and sleeping until all the meat and trails and small bones have been devoured. Then the hunt begins again. When the when food is scarce. Tigers will go after smaller game such as peacocks, monkeys, lizard, and even crabs. When they can, they they will kill larger animals such as baby elephants or baby rhinoceroses. On the island of Sumatra, tigers have been known to attack orangutans. Being the biggest and mostly deadly beast in the forest is no guarantee of a meal. Tigers are. That are unable to hunt their usual prey will sometimes go after cattle, sheep, and humans. In desperate times, a hungry tiger will even eat grass and berries. In the wild, tigers can that tigers that reach ad, adulthood live only ten to fifteen years. One common cause of death is from injuries received while hunting. A tiger with a broken tooth or a fractured leg cannot hunt, and a tiger that cannot hunt will eventually starve to death. Most cats don't like to get wet, but tigers love the water. In tropical areas where temperatures can reach 50 Celsius, tigers hit the beach. A refreshing dip in in a lake or river helps the tiger stay cool. Tigers have another reason to stay near water. Animals of all kinds are attracted to water. Tigers often lurk nearby, hiding in the under underbrush. When a deer or another animal wanders close, the tiger will launch itself from cover and chase its prey right into the water. Tigers have have even been known to attack and kill crocodiles. Family life. Tigers hunt alone. They do not like to share their food. Each tiger marks its territory by leaving its droppings and spraying urine at scent on trees. Scratching on trees with their claws is another marking behavior. These signs and others are a warning to other tigers: keep out. Male tigers have large territories that often overlap the territories of female tigers. Mostly, they stay out of each other's way. A mother tiger will defend her cubs if a male approaches, but once her cubs have grown and left her, the tigress becomes more friendly. She sprays trees more often, advertising her presence. Males can tell from the scent she leaves that she is ready to mate. Mating tigers also communicate with roars and other sounds. After mating, the male tiger leaves. He will not help raise the cubs. In fact, the female tiger will avoid him. Male tigers have been known have been known to kill their own offspring. About four months after mating in a hidden den, the tigress gives birth, usually to two or or three kittens. Tiger kittens are blind and helpless at birth. They weigh only one to two kilograms. 
Like all mammals, tiger babies drink their mother's milk. After four or five weeks, the mother starts to bring them meat. The cubs grow quickly on their meat and milk diet. By the time they are eight weeks old, they have begun to follow. Their mother on short walks through the forest. At six months, the cubs are able to follow their mother for greater distances. They no longer need to return to the safety of the den. The tiger cubs get their first hunting lessons. They learn which animals make good prey. They learn to creep up quietly for long periods of time. Eventually, they learn to kill by delivering a, a fatal bite to the neck. It will be many more months before the cubs are able to hunt on their own. They will stay with their mother for up to two years before they have the strength and skills to survive alone. The first few months after the young tiger leaves its mother is a dangerous time. Each tiger must stake out its own territory, which brings it into contact with other tigers and with human beings. Unexperienced tigers are lucky to survive their first year. About half of them die from starvation, from wounds received while hunting or fighting, or from being trapped or shot by humans. Those that do survive will go on to find mates, reproduce, and become an ancestor to future tigers, and so the cycle continues. Tiger types. There are five living varieties or subspecies of tiger: the Siberian tiger, Panthera tigris, or tiger, is the largest of the tigers. A male Siberian tiger can weigh more than 250 kilograms and, much, and measures three meters from its nose to the tip of its tail. Siberian tigers have a long, thick, light orange coat. About about 350 of these magnificent cats live. In the remote forests of eastern Siberia, a few may still survive in North Korea and northern China. Scientists believe that tigers evolved to the snowy forests of the north. Siberian tigers are probably the probably very similar to those original tigers. Slowly, over many tens of thousands of years, tigers migrated south and adapted to new, warmer environments. The most common tiger subspecies is the Bengal tiger, Panthera tigris tigris. About three thousand five hundred Bengal tigers live in India, Nepal, and Bangladesh. Bengal tigers are slightly smaller than their Siberian cousins, and their fur is a darker shade of orange. Farther east, in the forest, a、uh, forest of Southeast Asia lives the Indo Indo Chinese tiger, Panthera tigris corbetti. These tigers are slightly smaller than the Bengal tiger, but they are still plenty big. Males can weigh up to two hundred kilograms. They are dark reddish orange with narrow stripes that sometimes break up into short dashes. About one thousand Indo-Chinese tigers are believed to live in scattered pockets of Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, and Malaysia. The South China tiger, Panthera tigris amoensis, is the rarest surviving tiger. Fewer than twenty are believed to live in the shrinking patches of forest in southern China. About fifty are living in zoos. <clears throat> Until 1979, this cat was hunted continuously. 
Today, only with only a few South China tigers left in the wild, the Chinese government plans to set aside millions of acres of forest as tiger preserves. They hope to bring and reintroduce tigers to their native habitat. On the Indonesian island of Sumatra lives the fifth and most unusual tiger subspecies, the Sumatran, the Sumatran tiger, Panthera tigra sumatra. Sumatran tigers are the smallest of the tigers, weighing 90 to 120 kilograms. Their coat is dark reddish orange with many narrow, closely spaced stripes. They have long facial hair and a ruff of fur around their neck, giving them a distinctive look. Sumatran tigers are known as excellent swimmers. Their large paws have webbing, have webbing between the toes, which helps them move quickly through the water. Confined to seven small parks on the island of Sumatra, these small graceful tigers may soon follow their close relatives, the Javan and Bali tigers, to extinction. The past, the present, and the future. For most of human history, tigers have been regarded as dangerous pests. Wherever people and tigers came into contact, two things were sure to happen. Tigers killed people, and people killed tigers. It was a contest that the tiger could not hope to win. A century ago, as many as 100,000 tigers roamed free in Asia. But as human populations grew, the forests were cut down to grow crops. Tigers lost more of their habitat with each passing year. To make pa matters worse for the big cats, tiger hunting claimed to have personally killed 1,150 tigers. By mid-century, fewer than 50,000 tigers remained. During the 1950s and 1960s, human populations continued to grow, and the tiger hunting continued. Tens of, tens of thousands of tigers were slaughtered. It was not until the late 1960s that people began to worry about the number of tigers left in the world. The Bengal tiger was listed as an endangered species in 1969. In 1972, the Indian government con conducted a tiger census. It estimated that only 1,827 Bengal tigers remain in the wild in India. Later that year, the World Wildlife Fund launched Operation Tiger and an international effort to save the last remaining tigers. With money and education from Operation Tiger, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Indonesia, and other countries set aside land where tigers could live. They passed laws against killing tigers. In 1973, India launched its own conservation program called Project Tiger, eventually setting aside 23 tiger reserves. By 1980, the number of tigers in India had increased to more than 3,000. Still, tigers are in trouble. Each year, humans take over more land that was once home to tigers. In China, Japan, and some and some other Asian countries, tiger parts are curumatins. Tiger whiskers are believed to give strength. Pills from, made from tiger eyes are sold to prevent convulsions. Every part of the animal has medical use. One dead tiger can be sold for more than 15000 on the black market. 
Of course, none of these medicines have has been proven to work, but that doesn't stop people from buying them. And so, throughout the shrinking habitat of the tiger, men with guns lie in wait, hoping to make a quick fortune with a single gunshot. Will wild tigers still live in the forests of Asia fifty years from now? No one can say for sure. Every year, there are more people living on our planet. Every year, there's less room for the tiger to roam. Today, more tigers live in zoos and in private collections than in the wild. The tiger will not become extinct, but a tiger in a cage is very different from the mysterious and fearsome tiger in the wild. Just imagine a wild tiger padding silently through the jungle, sniffing the air. Listening, if it flexes its claws, watchfully, watchfully blinks its great yellow eyes, licks its enormous cannon teeth, and waits.